Hey guys, it's Mackenzie. Uh, this is my third video and I wanted to wish everyone happy holidays and Merry Christmas and Kwanzaa and Hanukkah and all that good stuff. Oh, and New Year's. That's like a few days away, right? We finally had a white Christmas this year. It's been like a long time since <laughs> we've had a white Christmas and I don't know, I was super excited about it because I didn't have to drive in it, but if you had to drive in it, that sucks. I'm sorry. So I wanted to do this video today to uh, talk about not only what I got for Christmas, but also I wanted to vent out my frustrations about how commercialized Christmas has gotten lately. I mean, it's ridiculous. I mean, the other day I heard this commercial where they took like a Christmas tune and put in their own words, and I couldn't think of the real words to the tune. Like, that's just so sad. I also realized despite all the stupid commercials and like a really cheesy song that they play on more 98, it, it takes me until about Christmas Eve to realize that it's Christmas, probably because, I don't know, we don't really do anything for my family except put up a tree, and that takes like 10 minutes, and then it's done, and then I, like a week later, it's Christmas Eve, and I'm like, oh hey, tomorrow's Christmas. Neat. I guess what I'm trying to say is that people are forgetting what Christmas is all about. I mean, not even from a religious perspective. If you're not religious, you know, that's fine. I'm not going to tell you how to live your life. But for everyone, I think Christmas should be about getting together with your whole family and celebrating being with one another and have and being alive, you know, because that's, that's a good thing to have going for you. So now that I got through all the cheesy stuff, I'm going to tell you about what I got for Christmas. Okay, first thing is I got a Garmin GPS system, which I'm super excited about because I would always have to go on MapQuest and they give you crappy directions, and then I'd get lost, and then I'd have to find my way, and then I... It would just, it'd be bad. Then I have to call the person I'm going to their house and I'm like, hey, I'm lost. I was gonna this But yesterday, I was going to my uh, friend's house for a party and I'd never been to his house before. And so, like, I, I'd seen him, like, drive down this road. I'm like, oh, it's that road. Like, why is my Garmin telling me to take the highway like this far? I can just take this exit and get to their road, like, real fast, you know? So I was trying to outsmart my Garmin and take my own directions and, like, the Garmin would recalculate and be faster. I'd be like, ha! So then I take the wrong exit, which was dumb on my part. Uh, so I had to turn around and then go down the street to get to the exit that I was really wanted. And then it turns out that I did need to stay on the highway. So now I learned my lesson. I was just in the garment. Garment. One thing that I kind of sucks about my garment is there's no Irish accents. That there's Australian, which you can't even understand, and then there's Spanish, which I, I speak Spanish fluently, so that would work, but it's like really gruffy. It's like, I mean, not even a real Hispanic person could understand that. It's like, it's like mumbles. The other YouTube sensation, that's what it's like, but in Spanish. And the British ones are okay, but you can totally tell that they're just like computer, I'm not real British people, and that's kind of, that's not cool. So then I was talking to my friend about this, and he has a Garmin, and he said there's this thing you can download on your computer where you can record your own voice. So then I got to thinking, who do I know that does amazing accents? RJ Bryant! So he's going to be my GPS voice, and I'm super excited because he can do like French, and like a really, really great British one, and that's going to be awesome. The next thing that I'm super excited about is I got this beautiful friend's picture of John Lennon, which I like almost peed my pants when I like unopened it, and I didn't really the next thing that I got that I've actually wanted for over a year now and finally got for Christmas is a pair of Tom shoes and here they are. So there's a UDF like two seconds down the street from my house and uh, so I was walking there in my new Tom's and uh, I was thinking about like the name Tom, like where did it come from? And I was like, it's just some dude's name, like Tom, like they could have, it's, it's not even a cool name, like Tom, it's the name of the Bills. Like, hey, I got Bills and now it's like a common household name. like. I got a pair of bills. Oh, that, that's like money though. I don't know. What else? Another Bob. Bob. I got a pair of Bobs. Yeah, look at those. You know? It's so funny how like just a random word can be created into a company and now it's just like a household name and every guy named Tom is like, Tom has Tom's. Kind of like, my name's Mackenzie, so Mac has a Mac. Craziness. I know. So I just wanted to do a little uh, holiday type vlog random thing to let you all know what I got for Christmas and tell some stories and uh, let me know how your Christmas was in the comments below and subscribe right up yonder and like right down yonder and also subscribe to my two friends 
Big X, Little X, Gabrielle, Alexis, Little X, Big X, who hasn't come out with a video for a while, and she should because I miss her. And also, subscribe to my good friend RJ's uh, new channel, Retrograde of Mercury, which is an astronomy term. If you don't understand, then you're lame. So subscribe to those, watch for videos. We're going to collaborate together, the three of us, and do some things together. All right, well, I gotta go. Hopefully I'll have another video soon if I can think of a good idea. Who knows? Hopefully it'll just come to me. Um, and I will see you all later. Bye-bye.